But we begin with that major earthquake rocking Northern California. Local officials say there is widespread damage after the 6.4 magnitude quake struck early this morning. Scientists say it's a matter of when, not if, there will be a major earthquake in the new magic seismic zone centered about 160 miles south of St. Louis. The new Madrid earthquake is about to cause the biggest disaster in the middle of the United States. This isn't your average earthquake zone. Imagine waking up to the ground trembling beneath your feet, buildings collapsing like houses of cards, and the very earth itself ripping apart at the seams. It's the stuff of nightmares, and yet it's a terrifying reality that could become all too real in the blink of an eye. But here's the kicker. Most people have no idea this danger even exists. They go about their lives, blissfully unaware of the impending catastrophe that could wipe out entire communities in the blink of an eye. And that's why we're here today, to shine a light on the darkness, to sound the alarm before it's too late. The origins of the New Madrid seismic zone can be traced back approximately 750 million years to the Precambrian era when the supercontinent Rodinia began to fragment. This process resulted in the formation of a rift valley, which failed to split the continent entirely, leaving behind a weak zone in the Earth's crust. This ancient rift, buried beneath layers of sediment from the Mississippi River, contributes to the region's hilly terrain amidst the otherwise flat landscape. The Mississippi River, a vital lifeline from the region, meanders through the New Madrid seismic zone, creating a broad alluvial plain essential for commerce, agriculture, and transportation. The river's floodplain, characterized by fertile soils, has historically supported extensive agricultural development. While the surrounding uplands, such as the Ozark Plateau and the Appalachian Mountains, offer diverse habitats and ecosystems, the seismic activity in the New Madrid seismic zone is marked by intraplate earthquakes, occurring within the interior of the North American plate rather than at its boundaries. This makes the earthquakes somewhat mysterious to scientists, as they occur far from the edge of the tectonic plate and are caused by a network of hidden faults beneath the surface. Despite its location in the central U.S., the New Madrid seismic zone has a history of significant earthquakes. By the late 18th century, the United States was experiencing rapid growth, concentrated mainly along the eastern seaboard. In 1803, the Louisiana Purchase expanded the nation's territory, paving the way for westward expansion. Settlements in the central United States clustered around the Mississippi River, serving as vital hubs for trade and migration. However, permanent settlements were scarce, with pioneers often retreating seasonally to northeastern Mississippi. In 1811, the United States was still in its infancy, with few settlements west of the Mississippi River. Along the river, only a handful of towns existed, including St. Louis, St. Genevieve, and New Madrid. New Madrid, with its diverse population of around 200, stood as a cultural melting pot, reflecting the eclectic nature of frontier life. Downriver, Natchez and New Orleans thrived, while Memphis remained a nascent settlement marked only by a Spanish fort. Despite its sparse population, the Mississippi River Valley was historically rich and heavily populated by Native Americans, drawn by the region's abundant resources. But the true danger lurked in the heart of their own land, waiting to strike. The Louisiana Purchase of 1803 thrust the nation into uncharted territory, doubling its size in a single stroke. Little did they know, their idyllic existence teetered on the edge of oblivion. As the 19th century approached, River traffic increased, with various wooden boats ferrying goods and settlers down the Mississippi. Life in the frontier settlements was generally peaceful, until a fateful night in 1811, when the earth trembled beneath them, shaking the very foundation of the nation's heartland. A malevolent force stirred, biding its time until the moment was ripe to unleash its fury upon the unsuspecting inhabitants. And so, as the people of New Madrid went about their daily lives, blissfully unaware of the danger that lurked just beyond their doorstep. The stage was set for a cataclysmic showdown between man and nature. Will they survive the wrath of the earth itself, or will they be consumed by the darkness that lies beneath? Tranquility shattered on December 16, 1811, as the Mississippi River Valley convulsed in agony, its serene facade torn asunder. In the early hours, around 2 a.m., a violent earthquake struck near New Madrid, accompanied by a deafening roar akin to a distant thunder. The atmosphere became saturated with vapor, plunging the land into darkness. The Mississippi River below appeared as a dreadful rapid or falls, 
making it impossible to land safely, leaving many to face certain destruction. The earthquake marked the beginning of a series of seismic events that would rock the central and eastern United States for the next six months. John James Audubon, residing in western Kentucky, described the terrifying experience as trees and shrubs uprooted, the ground undulating like waves, and the sky crackling with lightning. The initial shock, measuring approximately 7.7 .7 on the Richter scale, caused widespread devastation near New Madrid. Settlers were thrown from their beds, buildings collapsed, and the Mississippi River was muddied by dislodged earth, causing widespread devastation over an area of approximately 1 million square miles. Over the following weeks, three more major tremors struck, accompanied by countless aftershocks, totaling over 2,000 possible earthquakes. Jared Brooks, an engineer from Kentucky, recorded about 1,800 earthquakes with a crude pendulum seismograph over six months. The earthquakes were so powerful that they created waterfalls on the Mississippi River and caused the river to slosh violently, giving the illusion of receding. On February 7th, the largest quake sliced directly across the Mississippi River, causing consternation among river travelers. The fault line created a sharp upthrust, bisecting the river at three points and partially damming it, leading to overflow and flooding of the banks. These seismic events, unprecedented in magnitude, left a lasting impact on the region, reshaping the landscape and instilling fear in the hearts of those who experienced them firsthand. The earthquakes that struck the New Madrid area in 1811 and 1812 left behind a landscape altered by their ferocity, forming new lakes and changing the course of the Mississippi River, and were accompanied by aftershocks that continued for years. Among the devastation, Realfoot Lake emerged as a new feature of the region. Unlike existing lakes, Realfoot Lake was not formed by the sudden inundation of dry land, but rather by the shifting of marshy areas, old river channels, and oxbow lakes, covering roughly 13,000 acres. Today, Realfoot Lake is a thriving ecosystem, serving as a habitat for over 250 species of birds, including bald eagles, and a renowned freshwater fish hatchery. Its serene beauty stands as a reminder of nature's power to create amidst destruction. Another lasting effect of the earthquakes is a phenomenon known as sand blows, which are still visible today. Sand blows occur when water-saturated sand beneath the surface is violently mixed with water, causing it to liquefy and shoot upwards through fissures in the ground. This process, called liquefaction, occurs due to the intense shaking of the earth during earthquakes. The sand grains, normally compacted, become more densely packed during shaking, forcing water out and causing it to erupt from the ground like a cone or a miniature volcano. In 1811 and 1812, sand blows covered hundreds of acres with varying depths of sand, sometimes shooting as high as the tops of trees. The liquefaction process poses a significant risk to infrastructure, including pipelines, water systems, and electrical systems, as well as unreinforced masonry buildings, which are susceptible to damage from ground failure. These geological phenomena serve as a testament to the power and mystery of the Earth. While the Earth's surface may appear solid and unchanging, events like earthquakes reveal its dynamic nature, leaving behind traces of its upheaval etched deep beneath the crust. Such is the fact that in the heart of the United States, there is a terror zone, a place where the ground beneath your feet can turn against you. The New Madrid Seismic Zone, stretching from Illinois to Arkansas, is a ticking time bomb ready to unleash devastation upon millions. But why here, in the heart of the continent, where the land should be still and silent? Unlike the trembling coasts, where tectonic plates clash in a relentless dance of destruction, the central U.S. sits upon a solitary plate, a calm facade hiding a sinister secret. Here, earthquakes defy logic, striking with a ferocity that belies their inland location, leaving scientists baffled and communities trembling in fear. And unlike the localized quakes of California, these tremors ripple outward like a stone cast into a placid pond, reaching far beyond their epicenter to touch the lives of millions. Since the seismic events of the early 19th century, the New Madrid Seismic Zone has experienced significant earthquakes, including a 6.0 magnitude quake in 1843 and a 6.6 .6 magnitude event in 1895. The latter caused extensive damage in Charleston, Missouri, where church bells rang out in a chorus of fear and was felt as far away as St. Louis, Memphis, Gadsden, and Evansville, toppling smokestacks and creating sand volcanoes. In addition, 
a 5.4 magnitude quake near Dale, Illinois in 1968, illustrated the region's broader seismic activity, felt in 23 states. But the worst is yet to come. With each passing year, the pressure builds, a silent menace lurking beneath the surface. And when the next quake strikes, will we be ready? Or will we be caught unawares, helpless in the face of nature's wrath? The earth beneath us holds secrets, and in the heart of the central U.S. lies a sinister truth. Scientists unravel the mystery of the new Madrid seismic zone, where rock lies cold, forming a sinister labyrinth of doom. Although they highlight that a large earthquake in the central U.S. is a low-probability event, scientists assert that there is still a certain degree of possibility to experience a devastating, catastrophic earthquake. According to the studies, the probabilities of a repeat of a 7-plus magnitude earthquake are 7% to 10% in the following 50 years. That sounds scary and alarming for U.S. citizens, but that's just the tip of the iceberg, because if it comes to a 6-plus magnitude earthquake, the probabilities increase drastically, showing 25% to 40% in the following 50 years. Although the chances seem slim, history whispers warnings of past cataclysms that echo throughout the ages. The perfect example is the 2011 earthquake in Virginia. On August 23, 2011, a 5.8 magnitude earthquake hit the state of Virginia, causing damages in Washington, the U.S. capital city located some 80 miles away. Besides, the tremors were felt across the eastern U.S. This episode serves as a reminder of the unpredictable nature of seismic events, striking where least expected and leaving devastation in its wake. As a matter of fact, the New Madrid Seismic Zone, situated in the heart of the United States, has been often overlooked in discussions about earthquakes. As it extends across several states, including Missouri, Arkansas, Tennessee, and Kentucky, this seismic zone poses a significant threat to millions of Americans due to its potential for devastating earthquakes, which could eventually finish the inhabitants' lives. Despite its lack of notoriety compared to the earthquake-prone regions along the West Coast, the New Madrid Seismic Zone presents a formidable risk to the lives and livelihoods of those dwelling within its reach. While the tremors may not be as frequent, their potential for cataclysmic impact looms large, casting a shadow over the region's tranquility. What truly sends shivers down the spine is the revelation from scientific research, a historical pattern of major earthquakes occurring approximately every 500 years in this clandestine zone. Such a revelation raises alarms and begs the question, are we on the brink of another seismic catastrophe, lurking beneath the surface of our collective consciousness? The thought of a seismic event of unprecedented magnitude gripping this area sends waves of apprehension through the soul. Unlike their counterparts on the West Coast, where structures stand fortified against the anger of nature, many buildings in the heartland lack such fortifications. The aged structures, from humble residences to vital institutions like schools and hospitals, stand vulnerable poised to crumble at the slightest tremor. Moreover, the precarious state of critical infrastructure only adds to the sense of impending doom. Bridges, roads, pipelines, and power lines, essential lifelines woven into the fabric of society, teeter on the brink of collapse. With their integrity compromised, the arteries of transportation and communication face the prospect of severed connections, plunging communities into isolation and chaos. The aftermath of a major earthquake could plunge us into unprecedented depths. Imagine, if you will, the mighty Interstate 55, a lifeline of commerce and connectivity, suddenly brought to its knees by the wrath of nature. The Mississippi River, once a bustling artery of trade and travel, rendered impassable by the force of an unseen adversary. But the devastation doesn't end there. Picture the vast swaths of farmland, vital to the region's economy, now threatened by a sinister force lurking beneath the surface. Soil liquefaction, a silent assassin, poised to wreak havoc on the very foundation of agricultural prosperity. And as the tremors reverberate through the earth, disrupting the delicate balance of supply and demand, the ripple effects are felt far beyond the confines of the heartland, sending shockwaves through global markets. The grim specter of casualties looms large in the wake of such a cataclysmic event. According to chilling estimates from FEMA, a seismic jolt measuring 7.6 on the Richter scale could unleash a wave of destruction, leaving a trail of death and devastation in its wake. Buildings, once proud symbols of human ingenuity, reduced to rubble in a matter of moments. The toll on human life and infrastructure, too catastrophic to comprehend. And let's not forget the millions who call the New Madrid Seismic Zone home. From the bustling metropolis of Memphis to the quaint streets of Cape Girardeau, 
lives hang in the balance, their fate intertwined with the whims of the Earth itself. However, the reach of this looming disaster extends far beyond the boundaries of these urban centers. Cities like St. Louis, Nashville, and Evansville stand on the precipice of chaos, their futures hanging on the balance. But the mysteries under the surface are not only relegated to damage in the above-mentioned states. In the shadowy annals of geological history, Oklahoma's serene landscape harbors a secret, a chilling anomaly that defies nature's gentle rhythm. What was once a land known for its tranquility has now become a stage for a sinister phenomenon, a surge of seismic unrest that has shaken the very foundations of its soil. In recent memory, Oklahoma has witnessed an unsettling surge in seismic activity, a macabre dance of tremors that deviates sharply from its erstwhile placidity. The chronicles of this upheaval traced back to the dawn of 2009, where the land was jolted from its slumber by an unprecedented onslaught of earthquakes. From a mere whisper to a deafening roar, the number of tremors per annuum soared from a humble average of two to an alarming 524, plunging the state into a seismic nightmare. What makes these tremors all the more ominous is their enigmatic origin, lurking deep within the bowels of the earth. While Mother Nature has long held dominion over seismic events, these disturbances in Oklahoma's heartland bear the unmistakable signature of human intervention. The culprit? Wastewater injection, a byproduct of the oil and gas industry's insatiable thirst for resources. These seismic ripples, ranging from faint whispers to ominous roars, have wreaked havoc upon the land, leaving in their wake a trail of destruction and despair. Buildings crumble like ancient ruins, infrastructure buckles under the strain, and communities tremble in fear as the earth beneath their feet convulses with unseen fury. Magnitudes soar to dizzying heights, some reaching a staggering 5.8 on the Richter scale, a testament to the raw power unleashed by mankind's folly. But what lies beneath this tumultuous surface? Investigations into the heart of darkness reveal an uncomfortable truth. Deep well injection, a practice intended to bury our industrial sins, has unwittingly become the catalyst for our undoing. By disturbing the delicate balance of subsurface pressures, we have unwittingly breathed life into dormant faults, setting the stage for a cataclysmic showdown between man and nature. Yet in the middle of the chaos and despair, a glimmer of hope flickers on the horizon. Unlike the natural seismic hotbed of the New Madrid Seismic Zone, where the Earth's wrath is inevitably etched in stone, Oklahoma's future remains shrouded in uncertainty. Although the specter of a major earthquake remains on the horizon, the likelihood of a repeat of the seismic surge that has plagued the state in recent years appears slim. But as the land holds its breath, poised on the precipice of catastrophe, one question lingers in the air. Will mankind heed the warnings carved into the very fabric of the earth, or will we continue to dance with forces beyond our control, tempting fate with each passing tremor? Only time will tell. But one thing remains certain. In the dark heart of Oklahoma, the earth whispers secrets that refuse to be ignored. As the earth trembles beneath our feet and the shadows of uncertainty loom large on the horizon, one truth remains steadfast. In the face of impending disaster, preparedness is paramount. As the first tremors ripple through the land, communities must unite and stand shoulder to shoulder as beacons of hope amidst the encroaching darkness. With emergency services stretched to the limit, communication networks shattered, and roads impassable, survival depends on the indomitable resilience of the human spirit. But even among the chaos and despair, one ray of hope shines through the darkness. The tireless efforts of dedicated scientists dedicated to unraveling the mysteries of Earth's fury. With each discovery, they come closer to unlocking the mysterious forces that lurk beneath our feet, shedding light on the secrets that lie at the heart of the new Madrid seismic zone. But make no mistake, the threat of a major earthquake in America's heartland is no mere conjecture. It's an undeniable reality that demands our attention. Armed with knowledge as our shield and unity as our strength, we stand ready to face whatever trials the future may bring. For in the crucible of adversity, our resilience knows no bounds. In conclusion, the New Madrid Seismic Zone is a testament to the intricate dance between geology and fate, a reminder of the fragility of our existence in the face of nature's rage. It underscores the need for continued research and preparedness efforts to protect our communities from the devastating effects of seismic activity. While the specter of earthquakes may seem distant to some, recent events in neighboring states like Oklahoma serve as a stark reminder of the unpredictable nature of the Earth's wrath. Let's not waver in our resolve to strengthen our defenses, 
arm ourselves with knowledge, and stand united in the face of adversity. So, dear viewers, as we embark on this journey into the unknown, let us unite in our mission. Don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe to our channel, and share this video far and wide. By spreading awareness, we empower others to join the battle against the hidden perils lurking beneath our feet. Together, let's forge a future where resilience triumphs over destruction, and hope shines brightly even in the darkest of times. Join us on this journey towards a safer tomorrow.